Module 5, Lesson 5, Measuring Backlink Quality. So again, links are like high school. The more links you have, the better, but they have to be good links. So to summarize, not all bank links are created equal. So there could be benefits and pitfalls when gaining backlinks. So you have to focus on getting high quality backlinks and not low quality. I know a lot of website owners who bought backlinks. They might have spent a lot of money for backlinks, but when you look at their backlink profile, you'll see a, most of those backlinks are toxic, which doesn't help your site. So if you think that you can do good with SEO by buying backlinks, um, it's not going to help. Um, like I said, if you buy backlinks, the quality is not good. Or if Google sees that you bought like 10,000 backlinks in one day, it's going to mark it as black hat SEO. Again, quality is more important than the quantity of backlinks. So one good backlink could be equal to 100 lower quality backlinks. So you want to spend your efforts not on getting 100 backlinks that are medium quality, lower quality, but spend your efforts on getting a relevant backlink from a higher quality website, reputable website, something that doesn't look like a website that was just put up just as a link farm to get links from. How do you measure backlinks? In Ahrefs, they use a domain rating in SEMrush, which I showed you. It's authority score. So with authority score and domain rating, it, it's usually out of 100. It gives you the um, link power. The better, the higher you are with your authority score or domain rating, the better. When you're looking at your backlinks, when you do your backlink analysis or backlink audit, take a look at the URLs where you're getting your links from to see if they're related. The domain score might be, or authority score might be high for those backlinks, but if they have nothing to do here with your site, then really it's not a quality backlink unless it's relevant to your website. Look at your referring domains. Look at all the domains that are pointing to your website. See which ones are beneficial to you. And like with the links, see if those websites are even related to your website. If you have a like a plumbing website and you have a lot of links pointing from a, from a, I don't know, a financial news website, that doesn't really tie into your business. So you might want to consider removing those because it does it's not helping you. Also look at the total number of domains and backlinks leading to your website. And you should analyze your links on a monthly basis, if not every three months. If you see toxic links, potentially toxic links, review them to see if you need to create a disavow file to submit to Google. <laughs> 